So I've got to hear from Shia yeah. and Shia's here. Yeah, no, no, I got to hear. Well, I got to hear them oh. speak at a panel. Oh, okay. And but I haven't got to hear from you yet. What was it like to make the film Honey Boy? It's such a touching, cathartic film for Shia. Yeah. It was really hard. I think it was very cathartic and touching for all of us. Anybody that was on set and participated and got to witness what he put into it was affected by it. Uh, but it was also just really hard. It was just really hard to make. You know, it's like you really dream about making a film for so many years, and then you get to make it, and you never know what it's gonna feel like. You know, and this one was more than a film. It was, it was, it was so much more than a film. What we did, you know, it was. Well, Shia referred to it as therapy. Yeah, I mean, it was like it was therapy. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy he says that. Um, I think that it was almost like exorcism. Maybe <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but also, yeah, I mean, the meta nature of this kind of thing really makes you question so many things, not just about parenthood, but also about performance, about you know, childhood and child actors, and it was a space that felt very eerie in many ways and very different than just being on a regular set. Absolutely. But how do you feel about the overwhelming positive response that the Hollywood Critics Association has given the film and the overall praise? I, I'm so happy to be here tonight. I think that what you're doing here is so important because the fact that you added more categories this year has allowed you to celebrate a lot of filmmakers that are not necessarily celebrated in all the other award shows that are so male dominated. Um, so it's been incredible to see some of my favorite films celebrated this year and to be part of this. We're all about inclusivity and you know giving those voices to those underrepresented people and, and how do you feel about that? Have like free the work. Is there, you're even supporting free the work, which is my nonprofit for women of color, uh, women and women of color, and people of color around the world. Uh, directors, writers, cinematographers. So it's just like it just feels really amazing to be in an award show that is even feeling responsible to do that. So many of the award shows absolutely don't care about this. True. about the authentic talent and the real stuff that I mean it's been one of the strongest years ever for women directors and they are just not included in most of the main categories from best film to best director to best script writers um, there's obviously been films this year that have been critically acclaimed but also did really well at the box office and seeing those films being left out and the, the other films it's just been very eye-opening, I think, to a lot of people to understand that this is systemic. It's not just another year. It's just really this year. It should be clear that this is something that we have to address. Thank you to the Hollywood Critics Association for being so inclusive this year and having us here. We're really proud to be here today with so many films that I love that I don't get to see them celebrated so much this year. So really happy and proud to be here.